Hey guys, BX Bricks back with another LEGO Transformer review. And today, I feel like we're finally finishing something with this because I've already done Galvatron and I've already done uh, Cyclonus. We haven't done Scourge and this guy's been hanging around since Brick Fair back in August. But I had to redesign him because in Brick Fair he could only look like this. I couldn't transform him because his, his wings just were all, all wonky and stuff. But nonetheless, we finally have G1 Scourge. Let's check All right, out. so here we finally have G1 Scourge. I'm going to do a lot of uh, reworking with the, the wings and everything. So this is a lot more solid. He's more solid in vehicle mode and in robot mode. So this I'm finally uh, happy with, and I could put the instructions for this up on my website. I don't want to put anything up there that's going to break as soon as you touch it. It has to be solid. All right. So, um, yeah, he's like a space surfboard type of thing, you know, he's, a, he's this weird looking spaceship. Um, I don't know what the concept of him really was, let me just zoom out a little bit so you guys can see. Um, but, you know, it was just, you know, definitely on my to-do list. And um, I think he came out pretty good, pretty good. Um, all the details and stuff, and of course that's his head back there, hiding out. Um, yeah. Not bad. So we are definitely just going to get straight into transformation. All right. So for this guy right here, what you want to do is take these pieces right here and hold them up on this hinge. Just for now. And bend it at that hinge to kind of get it out the way. You pretty much see he, he, he's basically a shell former, to be honest with you. But, um... Uh, so I guess during I was taking some pictures a little bit. but um you know different versions of him do different things and um I think this was like the best version to do I guess in Lego to some degree so here we have some hinges where we're going to take the front part of the wing right here and flip this up That kind of came just connected a little bit on that. The Mixels, like the, this gray Mixel point right here, has no clutch whatsoever. I'm gonna show you which one I'm talking about. You guys know which one. This one right there, that gray one, has no clutch power whatsoever. So if anybody from Lego is seeing this, Please, I mean, I know it's going to cost like a gajillion dollars to rework the mold, but I mean, it's a it's a joint. You're supposed to have, you know, some type of clutch power on that thing. Just a little bit or something, you know. Work with us here. All right, so we got one side done. We're going to do the other side. These are really tight joints right here. Now let's bend these up too. I don't know. Let's get these these parts out of the way. And those will rotate on that clip. Kind of just point forward. I can do it on that side also, like that. And we can finish folding this up. And we can fold it out, like so. And we can flip up his head and close up his chest piece. Nice. At this point, we could uh, do the leg thing right here. I actually redesigned them probably a couple of months ago. I'm just really getting around to doing the video. There's a lot of videos that I need to do that I just haven't done yet. <laughs> Real life will get in the way sometimes. But I'll be going on vacation soon, so you don't have to worry about any of that. Alright, so begin standing him up a little bit. His arms from hiding out back there. Those out the way. Get this other arm out into the real world. We got the hill spurs out. Gotta get those nice and wide. Because he is pretty back heavy. And there we have Scourge. Rock on. 
let's see if we can do anything. We can't really do but so much to really clean up the backpack. Um, we do have another hinge. Let's see if you can see this like right there. There's another hinge that it'll fold out that way. But um, yeah, let's see if that actually worked a little bit. I feel like it'll just kind of yeah. Because I, I kind of like to keep it to where the wings are still close to him. But I guess that's not bad either. Yeah, let's see if I could get this side done as well. Yeah. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Just gotta make sure that he is stable. a little bit. Man, he looks sad. Why does he look like a sad scourge? He should be happy. He's finally getting his video done. Alright, there's a happy scourge. Alright, zoom in a little bit. Oh, too close. Alright, there we got scourge. And um, let's get him with his buddies, right? Make sure I took these guys down off the shelf. We still have Galvatron hanging out right here. You guys can see that. And got this other guy. Cyclonus. Very nice, very nice. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see everything with these guys. So this is how they all look together. Finally, we have them here right now. So, let's get these guys out the way. I thought I was going to have to do a version 2, but the minor updates kind of allow just for him to still be considered a version 1. There we go. So, let's do a nice little spin once we get him in the middle. Yeah, right there. And hopefully he doesn't fall or anything, because there is a lot of stuff on his back, but... Um, everything kind of balanced itself out. It's still pretty close to his body and whatnot, so it's not bad at all. Yeah, but I think this came out really good. Um, and th that's one of the, the things about working digitally on LDD is that it'll work perfect on the computer, but it doesn't take into, fact, uh, take into consideration the gravity of what you're building. And something might be too back heavy, or the, the joint might be too loose, so that all comes with experience, so... If you do design on that and you see that things aren't quite working out when you build it, sometimes it's better to build it before you do the whole thing just to see how it works. And as you keep going, you'll get better, definitely. So this is BX Bricks. Thank you guys once again for liking, um, liking, subscribing, sharing, and commenting, that stuff. And I um, want to thank you guys and keep in mind that if you guys are looking for the instructions for the, the, the redefined scourge. If you've already brought Galvatron, you already brought Cyclonus, and you need to complete your set, then you gotta head over to BricksMediaStudios.com today to go pick up the instructions for this guy right here. All right, so a lot more videos on the way, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.